Hey, well, good morning again. So, if you're watching this video today, I'm going to assume you've survived some things. One of those being remote learning, okay? Now, I need to cover a couple things with you. Don't have no great lecture for you to, for you today. I just want to talk about a couple things to really to get your mind right, okay? And the first thing I want to talk about is this. So, you guys that are working on these projects, right? I want to explain one more thing to you about them. You know, you took the purchasing and cost control class, right? And ideally, you were supposed to come out of that class learning how to cost food, right? Please know that you have a project coming up that you're going to have to cost your menu out. You're going to have to create a menu. You're going to have to cost it out. Um... And listen, with these projects, as I was trying to explain, I don't know if I explained it very well, you're going to need this as the base for projects for two or three, possibly four, four classes you take with us, okay? So what you really want to do is really come up with a concept that you think that you really want to, um, that you want to operate, possibly, as a business. Because what's going to happen is, as you go through the different classes, you're going to put different components of that business together in terms of the written things, the paper things, the planning, uh, numbers, just facts together. And actually what it does, by the time you're completely done, except for the financing, you almost have a partial business plan, a workable business plan, because you've done some things. Of course, some more research has to go along with that. And, um, but those of you that really want to be in business, you guys really catch on to these concepts because you're going to have to use them if you're going to be a successful business owner. Now, many people start businesses that end up no longer in business, right? So, uh, those of you that are, that wanted to be caterers, better learn this game. Okay. And I'm really talking about the business side. I think most of you probably going to be fine, I think, with the cooking aspect of this. But um, that's only, that's actually the small portion, to be honest with you, is that business side that runs like a business that's so important and pertinent to successful businesses, okay? So just know that if you didn't pick up some of the stuff along the way, you better ask questions Make sure you get this. Now, I'm just I'm just going to tell you, you guys, you know, you don't have to. But the ones of you that do, I will see probably see you successful out in the world. Yeah, for real. It's like that. OK, you guys. So take it serious. The business side of this. Some of you, you remember I told you you learn how to cook so you don't have to cook. Well. If that's not clear, let me explain it to you. I say, hey, listen, you come to culinary, learn all this stuff about food, and you're preparing it, doing it all kind of different ways. Then, eventually, if you're going to be successful in this business, you're not the one cooking. You're the one running those numbers and running that business, which actually is done from an office, not from behind the stove. Yeah. So, as I also told you guys once before, Whoever's probably giving you instructions, they make more money than you. Whoever's giving them instructions makes more than them. That's just how it goes. You know where you want to end up being? You want to be the top instruction giver in your organization. That means you're going to direct their sous chef, line, all those people listen to you and fall under. Hopefully your manager, the manager falls under you. Then you're doing something. Because remember I talked about getting bonuses, performance bonuses in management, right, previously? So watch this. When you're going to get a performance bonus in management, it's because you got your workers performing uh, to their optimum peak, right? Or to what a business says, hey, we have to operate like this at this percentage or this cost. And when you're able to hit those numbers... As a manager, normally there's some incentives for you, okay? So re just recognize, you guys, all of this was sort of important. Okay, enough of all that. Like I said, this isn't going to be long today. So, hey, guys, listen closely, okay? Now, 
Most of you, almost all of you have done very well with this remote class thing. A lot of you have gotten your assignments in right on and on time. No problems. A couple of few of you uh, went in question. You picked up that phone and called me like you were supposed to. Good job. Now, unfortunately, there's some of you that have not done the right thing. Man, when you get back to school, uh, you better check with your chef and see if you're at a point that you're going to be okay. If you did no kind of work during this remote, you better go talk to them people. See where you stand um, in terms of this, okay? Now, I think you guys get it. So, uh, it is what it is, you know. Um, you can only tell grown folks things so many times that eventually you just let the truth speak. So, I'm just going to leave that conversation at that because what I want to really use my energy is for all of you guys that are doing the right thing. That's where I'm at, okay? So, look. Now, I guess that's enough fussing about that. Here we go. Got some news for you. Please make a mental note of what I'm getting ready to tell you. Write this down. When you come back on Monday, you will not be allowed to take your book into the kitchen. Actually, you guys should be heading straight to the kitchen. Your group should be, okay? Now, I spoke with a Chef Dahl on yesterday, and I spoke with Chef Cooper on yesterday. So, you guys, here it is. Write this down. This is what you'll be doing on Monday morning, okay? You guys will be doing New York strips Monday, okay? You will also be doing shoestring potatoes. You will be doing broccoli almondine. You're also going to prepare the calamari and the little batter that goes with it, you guys. And it has an aioli that goes with it. And also, you guys will be making key lime pie. So, listen, do not show up Monday without having the directions written down on cards, right? Flash card type thing or even a piece of paper. They're not going to let you take that book into the kitchen, okay? You don't have time when you get in school to come sit in the classroom and write all this stuff out. And remember, it's only a three and a half hour class, and it has to be, that includes cleanup and breakdown. So you've lost two hours of your normal class time, guys. So that means once you hit the, uh, you hit the door, you're pretty much going straight to lab. So this is where we told you no, uh, Book bags and all that stuff. No sense bringing that stuff. You're going to bring in your knife kit. You're going to bring in your paper or notes and pencil or pen. That's all you're going to require to you bring in your projects for uh, for who, for the chef who's teaching you. So watch this, you guys. Please know, go over those recipes, procedures, all that stuff. Have it down packed or you're going to look real silly. Come Monday. Okay? So let's do this, guys. Uh, some of you have been dying to get back. Well, I'm going to die to see what you're going to do. How you going to act in the kitchen? That's me now. I'm going to be watching you guys. And you know I'm going to come through and be talking stuff. Now, you you know, that's a given, right? Yeah, you know what's up. But anyway, hey, listen, it's all good. You guys remember, New York strip steak on Monday. Um... Shoestring potatoes, gonna check them knife skills. Those 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 um those Julianne knife skills gonna come back into play now, right? Hope you guys been practicing your stuff too during this remote time. Uh broccoli almondine, you guys should know how to rock that out. Most of you got to. Okay. Then also the calamari, right? And that's battered and fried. And also the key lime pie. And yeah. Let me find out you guys made key lime pie and I didn't get none. Yeah, let me find that out. Right? But I'll be there Monday anyway, so don't be worrying about it. I'll, I'm getting my share. Okay, listen guys. Uh, good job, like I said, th through this remote thing. And uh, see you guys on Monday. Uh, you guys in banquets and catering, 
Make sure you have these recipes, have this information when you walk in that door. Got it? All right. That's what's up. See you Monday. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to turn in your projects before midnight tonight.